Hey there, everybody. Orb24, and I am bringing you what I am starting up as a little series within my channel. We're going to be calling it Random Game Friday. And as you can see with today's random game, I'm picking dwarfs. Basically, all I'm doing for Random Game Friday is I'm just going to go off my Steam list, find a game that I play every now and then, and bam, here you have it. So as you can see, dwarfs. Now, what is dwarfs? Well, yeah, the best way to show dwarfs is really just to play it. I mean, um, it's been described as lemmings, sort of like, because they just kind of do whatever. Um, here's some of the main things. I'll just show off some of the key features of the game here. You got your arcade, which is the main thing. Skirmish has a bunch of random things. Sandbox, you know, do whatever you feel like doing. Rush mode. It is boom, 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 dwarfs all the freaking time. It's ridiculous. Endless, you just play until you lose. And then dark mode. Um, dark mode will make a little bit more sense after I actually show you the game. But um, it's got a little campaign that's not really the key point. Base defense is your tower defense. If for anybody that's ever played tower defense style games before, that's right there. This is the main part right here. You got your easy, normal, hard, and T hardcore. T hardcore is, yeah, I don't. I've never actually played a full round of T-Heart Hardcore, and even on five minutes, I haven't beaten a full T-Hardcore game. But I also kind of suck, I guess. But anyway, this is what makes it awesome. You know, I'll just play a quick game, bam, five minutes. A little bit longer, 15, half an hour, hour. I'll tell you what, playing an hour game, you will get tired. I get tired. Anyway, this is Dwarfs. I got my little dwarf here. He, oh man, he got blocked by my fighter dwarf. But um, yeah, these are fighter dwarfs. These are digger dwarfs. Um, the whole concept of the game is just to get as much money as you can, much score as you can. Uh, this is your score. This is your money. Um, yeah, there's real. <laughs> it's pretty simple. You could just let them go do what you want, or you can tell them to go places. Um, it's more efficient tell them to go places. But, um, you can you can just let them go where you want if you feel like it. And see, that's digging into a cave. That's where the risky business of this game comes in. You don't know what's in there. You just don't. So, and, uh, when you see him speed up like that, that's holding an S. Saves time because it speeds up the game, but it doesn't make the time tick down faster. See, whoa, there we go, right there. Random cave, you never know. This one happened to be a treasure cave, which is awesome. Another treasure cave. Today is my lucky day. So, that's really it. I mean, there's not a lot to this. Um, the caves can have uh, bad things in them. Actually, that was a really inefficient path. What I'm going to do is send them here and then down. There we go. Cost gold every time that you send them on direction all your own. So, I'm going to try to not mess that up too much. But, um... The more holes you start digging, the more points you'll end up getting. Water. See, sometimes you get water. And that water floods to here, you're done. It's game over. So what you do is you send this guy, little guy over here. And uh, he has to make the ultimate sacrifice for his dwarf buddies. Boom! He's done. Big hole there. We're good to go. But as you can see, this guy has run into a problem. We're going to get him out of there, and we have to set, start sending a warrior dwarf immediately. we got to run digger dwarf away. And I, I just cornered him. I wanted him to keep digging. Um, yeah, so that didn't work out very well, but I got warrior dwarf on the way. We'll be... Oh, no, 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 no. Dwarfs are dumb. <laughs> Dwarfs are dumb. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you gotta really watch out for them doing that. They'll just start digging. They don't know. That's why a lot of people call it, like, lemmings, because they'll just do, you know? They don't really ha- Crap, now I have to sacrifice another dwarf to go over to here. Sorry, dude. Uh, oh, man, I don't have enough money? Um... Now I have money, there we go. You gotta go back the other way though. Oh man, see I'm low on money now. This is what we call, uh... We're trapping right now. 
And uh, that little bell brings Warrior Dwarf back to base. Um, I'm cave trapping, though, or hazard trapping, whatever they want to call it. But um, basically, I'm making it completely impossible for them to get there now. I have It's blocked there, blocked there. There's no way they can get to that water. That's, that's uh, trapping. I trapped it. Now there's absolutely no way for them to dig in there. You get your bonus points. It's it's a good thing to do. You know, you get your trapping. Um, they've been digging up here. I'm gonna send this guy towards those minerals. Normally I play this holding in the S button pretty much the entire time because you can get you get more points that way. You can do a lot better that way. But you know, for this little presentation, oh God, run. Run! No, just run, dude. Just run. <laughs> These digger dwarfs, they don't they don't know what they can and can't do. Apparently they don't understand that the fighting's not their strong point. No, digger, digger, run! Run, digger dwarf! Oh no, the spider's are going the other way. Okay. Uh get that warrior dwarf. Okay, he's gonna be able to make it in time. Should be a zero casualties thing here. He tears spiders up, so I mean there's real I really don't have any problems there. There we go. And he's just going to continue on that path. He hit the arrow. They get a little speed boost when that happens, it seems. Um, at least that's as much as I've noticed. I have played this game a fair chunk. Uh, let's see. He's killed everything up there. So we call him back to base. We're going to send this digger dwarf on over here. As you can see, I only have 15 seconds left. So I'm going to start playing it in high speed. Um, try to start opening things up guys digging away I'm gonna get all those minerals um, there's not a whole lot I'm gonna be able to accomplish in these last five seconds uh, that happened to be nothing and well there you go that is ooh, diggy Kong this is a, I, I haven't played a lot on this computer so I'm still getting all the achievements and stuff again but this is one of my worst rounds actually it's the second I think so <laughs> but um anyway yeah that's dwarfs right there in a nutshell really um, here are my scores. I died immediately here. <laughs> so I opened up water, flowed in. Um, this was my first at full game. Third game, fourth game. That's all I've played on this computer. I played it a lot on my other computer. I've also played some, uh, I haven't played any of the longer matches. But I, I normally play half an hour matches. I just thought I'd show you it with a quick five minute match. I accidentally did it on easy ones. Stomped it, yeah. But, um, so those scores, you know, it's like, oh, God, you, you seem like you're doing a lot of work there, and uh, that's, that's, that must be a decent score, right? Um, no. You go to global, around me, just, 155,000. That's 706. Top players. 1,514,000. These people take it way too seriously. <laughs> this is dwarfs. We should just be relaxing a little bit, but these people, I don't know, man. I mean, whatever makes them happy. There's a lot of little things like dwarf snapping, and I, I don't even know how these people do it, but a little bit of luck, I'm sure, but you really need to know what you're doing and take some dedication to get up that high. I don't know how they do it, but yeah. So that's dwarfs. Um, just a fun little game. I, I'll use it to kill time or... It's just a fun little casual game to play sometimes. Uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, I know that I said I was probably going to be coming out with episode 6, but I really, really kind of wanted to start this up for every Friday. So, this will be a Friday deal. Expect random games on Friday. Who knows? Um, next, next thing will be episode 6 of Minecraft, so look forward to it. I will see you guys next time. In the meantime, this is Dwarfs, an awesome game. Yeah.